They were walking a gauntlet. Um, there was a lot of fear and intimidation. An extensive operation outside the drop-in centre in downtown Calgary sees police and other agencies telling vulnerable people to take away their belongings and remove temporary structures. It's all in response to dozens of incidents that have happened in the area over the past couple of months. It's a part of an operation called Operation East Side. Police say they are breaking up drug trafficking. People are very upset about what is happening at the scene as well, clearly. And you can see behind me in the truck, the city truck, there's uh, people's clothes and other belongings that are being taken away. Police say that they've heard many, many reports of, of violence, drug trafficking, sexual assault, and, and things of that nature. And that is why they're hoping to do this and create a safer space. When there is drug trafficking, you know that there is organized crime. Um, involved and uh, I can say that there are numerous individuals that are um, very violent along Dermot Baldwin Way and uh, were very entrenched in drug trafficking and that's where it became very territorial along along that roadway. It's becoming uh, a very concerning uh, situation that uh, needed to be addressed and I'm hopeful that with all of the the actions taken today that those feelings of safety will continue uh, to increase instead of, uh, of going down. Needles and other hazards removed from the area and city representatives say that uh, belongings that they have taken away were taken away by request and people can get them back in the future when they're in a more stable situation. Now despite uh, months of trying to clean up the area and use other methods of enforcement, uh, they said that this is a, a last resort due to uh, the nature of ongoing incidents and also advocates in the area say that this can help them better provide services for people in need. The expectation is that from now on, this area will remain free and clear of obstructions, both by way of physical structures and violent or intimidating behavior. As the structures were removed today, partner agencies were on site to ensure personal belongings were allowed to be removed safely and that all individuals living in the structures were connected to social supports. With our partners in community outreach, other emergency shelter providers and housing providers, our goal is to provide people with safe and dignified services. We are meeting people where they are at and supporting people in the housing options that they choose. A dozen people were arrested in total during the operation, including seven with major offenses, including assault and possession of dangerous weapons. One minor also taken into custody. 28 weapons have been seized, along with fentanyl and methamphetamine. In Calgary, Tom Ross, City News.